All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, yeah, I went to bed again around two a.m. again. Ugh, I'm trying to figure out like a good time because a good time to stop playing Tarkov because like the amount of adrenaline that I get, it's like it takes forever to go away. So it's definitely more. It's like around an hour and ten or an hour and twenty minutes. So I have to actually hard stop myself to say midnight. So I can go to bed something more normal around one a.m. Um, so, I mean, technically seven hours and 40 minutes of sleep sounds like enough, but, uh, I'm sorry to notice it's kind of, uh, not quite enough because I still have a little bit of adrenaline even after I go to bed at like 2 a.m. So it's like, I'm probably really sleeping around 2.30 a.m. Like that's when I actually just fall asleep. But, uh, yeah, maybe the way I'll, I'll figure it, uh, figure it out. So anyway, I kind of have some stuff to do today. Um, well, you know, it's really just Tarkov and programming, right? Um. Because, uh, yeah, so far, you know, now I've gotten past the really hard part, which is in the interactable. But I imagine, like, once I go through this tutorial and I see, like, everything, then I'm going to have to start thinking, okay, well, I mean, this is a very basic template, right? And I need to build on that. So, you know, do I want... Because I, cause ideally what I want is actually randomized item uh, itemization. So you go up to a chest, you loot it, and then it just generates items automatically for you. So that's really what I ultimately want because that's basically how tarkov is because i don't want static spawns because that's one problem that tarkov has is like there's a lot of static spawns so everyone's always rushing like the that same spy and causes gameplay problems so in my case uh you know and tarkov came up with a pretty good um middle of the road um solution have randomized items but the randomized items are specific to a pool that you only get in certain kinds of types of containers like for example jackets you know spawn keys very good key. i've made a lot of money off of looting keys right uh or if you loot a medical bag in tarkov obviously it's going to have medical supplies right healing items and stuff like that uh so in my case i'll have something similar right and, but for now i'll just be sticking with the chest uh chest icons <clears throat> I do have a couple of medical uh, icon boxes, so we'll be using that for meds too. Because uh, my heal, uh, I can't describe it yet, but my healing system is actually going to be more like Deus Ex, com uh, you know, uh, implant based, right? I call it combat implants, right? Because I'm trying to make my game as, like, yes, there's going to be fantasy, like elves and dwarves and shit. Um, there's obviously ogres on the other side. There are no orcs because ogres take the place of orcs, and everyone always uses orcs, so I want to use ogres. Uh, I think trolls will be there. Um, undead, of course, have to be there too because everyone loves you know fucking zombie shit for some reason. I don't. Mine is gonna be more just to uh, try to make it more story based at least, even though I'm going down like a very. <sighs> Uh, what is it cliche common uh mainstream thing or whatever right i mean i because like on my mobile game right that i play on my emulator i'm noticing ad i always have to watch ads right uh i've noticed they started play, uh, pushing a new game called age of z it actually looks pretty fun actually uh it has actually a lot of uh, reviews and stuff so yeah, so zombie and undead stuff, you know, it's really, uh, it's really big stuff. It's a, uh, you know, a, re a really good money niche. Um, holy shit, two golden coins. Ooh, I got uh, lucky here. I'm just doing my bit heroes real fast. <coughs> so yeah, I gotta try and make sure I get like my nine hours of sleep tonight, so I don't get sick. Cause that's why I'm starting to come down a little bit with something. Cause it's just days of repeatedly not getting enough adequate sleep i mean i get an okay amount but it's right underneath uh what is optimal so uh yeah but i see one thing i'm thinking is why don't i play one game of tarkov while after i eat because i always get like that you know energy low i want to take a nap well one thing that'll really pump my energy is just play tarkov but thing is i might just wind up playing instead of coding so uh it it, it, it can be frustrating oh well i'll figure it out but yeah anyway bitcoin searches are not released for this week yet uh crypto i think it's been going up since yesterday so i need to make sure that 
Everything here looks good. Oh, wow. Take a look at uh, the finance Yahoo markets. That's one of the nice things about starting later is because at least the market's open and then we can see what's actually going on. So I'm just refreshing all this again because, you know, it's Firefox and it just sucks. 48 minutes left on this. Yeah, a lot of people uh, have surprisingly been voting a shit ton on this. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, yep, I thought so. So Bitcoin is 65.1%, dominant 24-hour bomb is 137 billion. It's definitely not a lot, but it's better than, you know, before. Bitcoin's basically $7,100, it's up 4.45%, very good. Litecoin's now up to $42.50, up 4.45%. Ah, finally, take that gold. Yeah, I'm going to stop uploading a bit shoot because uh, I just keep losing subscribers. That's probably because the people that subscribe there just want to hear like my real truth talk takes, and I can't talk about that anymore. So it's like, uh... But, you know, I can eventually make up for it by, you know, when my game does come out, I can probably just, you know, put out an ad on BitChute, believe it or not. Because there's definitely a big market on BitChute for, like, my kind of game, right? So, you know, I'll just pay the advertising cost for it. But I'll still stick with Facebook first and see how that goes. Um, so, because, uh, like, because I think I already mentioned what I'm going to do. I'm going to target 15-year-olds to, like, 49-year-old men. See how that goes, right? Try to it's probably going to still be pretty expensive, but, you know, as long as I, but again, as long as I get people to play the game on my website for free, right? And then they just, you know, every time they click to get their, like, you know, stuff, right? They're refreshing the ads. So that's how I, I, I make the money. <coughs> yeah, man, it's coronavirus. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it how everyone, every time someone calls whenever I watch stream, everyone just in chat just spams coronavirus, or, you know, because we have the Pepe, the froggy emo, he's wearing a mask, and that's what we, we spam to say coronavirus. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Dogcoin's at 237 million market cap, a little under that, up 2%. Yeah. And look at those pretty nice lines, like flatlining or starting to go up a bit. So, it's, it's very good. So, crypto's getting stronger. I like it. Uh, because, again, this is already telling me that people really want to reopen America. Before it was pretty lopsided. It was 80% want to reopen America in one way or another. Now now the old people are, and boomers are starting to get kind of angry. <clears throat> it's also possible. We've got a couple globalist bots trying to uh, spam it down. But I mean, I'm not really that important yet. So, of course. Uh, but I mean, I'm not really important. So, well, at least in terms of fame. So, I mean, why would they even spam me in the be begin with? But, you know, I get that occasionally. Uh, where's Steam? Uh, down to 17.47 cents. And I think Hive power is around something similar. So I've actually will be holding off on buying Hive or Steam until like Dogcoin starts. Uh, you know, I'll just do my usual buys and then, you know, I can get it cheaper, get a little more expensive and, you know, blah, 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 blah. All right, so Remel is finally out of the danger zone for now, right? It's up 39 cents, right? Because it's looking pretty grim for it before. Uh, so it works for me because, again, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm done buying, right? I just want everything to go fucking back up. And as we can see from here, everything's going back up. And AMZA has completed their reverse stock split. So now I have 50 shares of this shitty fucking stock. And I can't even do my fun little covered calls on it anymore. Uh, very irritating, but, you know, what are you going to do? But again, that's why stocks are a fucking scam. And that uh, going forward, again, A, I'll make sure that, you know, my stock picks are much better. And number two, I treat it like I do cryptocurrency with the intent to dump it after a few years. Now, the problem is stock market ups and downs last for about approximately 10 years, 10 to 12. Like between now and the 2009 crisis, that's like 11 years. 11 to 12 years, if you want to count from 2008, right? So, uh, yeah, that's a long time to hold. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. In my case, I still use the Ken Fisher method. So basically when there's a new president, you know, that, that basically means every four to eight years. That's when I'll dump. <clears throat> but buying on the dips is really nice, though. So, I mean, I could still look into doing something like that, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, but now, but now we have a frame of reference, right? Cause we had coronavirus. So now we already have our, you know, hit something. Uh, so anyway, Dow's up almost a thousand points. Um, kind of down, is there any particular reason why health insurance issue eyes federal aid amid Corona? 
uh, Zoom share slip over security concerns rising. Oh yeah, so Zoom is actually made by China or something like that. So that's why everyone's getting uh, supposedly pretty mad at them or something. So whatever, I don't really care. JPM can handle GDP folly at 35% rate. Yeah, I'm sure because you guys are the asshole bankers. Um, okay. Uh, war uh, is behind. All right, so the worst market volatility is behind us. <clears throat> okay, Wells Fargo closes load window for SBA relief program. Of course, because these big bank pieces of shit. You know, they're 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 fucking evil people. All right. Um. Ah, oh, God, I really hate when I have to go to a different site. I go to Yahoo Finance, so I don't have to go to other people's sites. So here's good old Robert Kier. Don't say I spent on the buy. Oh, yeah, so he's still put peddling his shit. Market bottom are very tough. To his books are actually pretty good. I still actually use it as a foundation. The problem is he doesn't teach you how to do anything. That's that's where he Robert Kiyosaki is very bad. Plus, I met him personally. He's like. I don't know. His bodyguards are like really huge fucking assholes. He himself seems kind of cool, but whatever. Excuse me. Wells Fargo. I think part of the problem is because he didn't have kids with his hot wife, so that's kind of like causing uh, issues. Wells Fargo said Saudi Arabia that has exhausted its 10 billion capacity for lending under SBA or a regulatory set cap. In other words, they made the pandemic. Uh, on the sideline. Um, okay. So, according to this, Wells Fargo says they are required by regulation not to give people extra money. Who the fuck comes up with these laws if that's the case? It's like you you told Wells Fargo to cap themselves at ten billion. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, all right, we'll come in this week for the SBA. Uh, we're still like cheap. Are you gonna get the line quickly? Get the money? Well, it was I'm going back to the next cycle on SBA's first day, but by will also on why that's like uh, so we'll focus on lending not profits and small business with fewer than 50 employees. Okay, all right, so they're at least still trying to lend to people that are like the actual small people, so. Uh, we'll read the expression of interest. Uh, three for the Wells Fargo would have the capacity to lend more than 384 billion if it wasn't operating on the asset cap. Bloomberg, okay, so that's the real number. The SBA PPP was allocated 350 billion under the recently passed stimulus package. Ah, uh, so they're saying the stimulus was too small. Well, it was a two trillion dollar package, so 350 billion here for the loans. 300 350 billion for direct cash payments to us people i haven't checked my bank account yet so i don't know if i got my trump bucks yet so that still leaves like a remaining 1.4 billion so where the fuck is the rest of the money uh back to what i said okay so i guess i'll take it back like wells fargo is at least according to this not being evil though i'm still pretty suspicious 10 billion that's it huh well, I guess those numbers really do get. Uh, I guess the stimulus package really isn't uh, going brr enough. Brr. I don't know why that means there, but I, I find I just find it find it hilarious. <clears throat> All right, so I want to see: is there anything in particular that's causing this thing to go up, or is it just normal market vol uh, volatility? Oh yeah, that's right. Corona uh, coronavirus cases are actually starting to drop, especially here in New York City. So uh, that that's good because again. If cases continue dropping, which is great, and people are continuing to agitate for reopening America, you know what that means, right? We're going to go back to normal. And I think investors are pricing that in. Uh, the, uh, a decrease. That's not much of a decrease. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, that's a decrease in deaths. Uh, Complain the death of the whole case. Gas out of the territory. Oh, yeah. They're also starting to check to make sure that we're actually seeing who actually died of coronavirus and like who do doesn't. And it's also starting to reduce the numbers, too. Uh, Italy reported the slowest rise of new deaths in two weeks. Uh, did it, yeah, because there's always a bell curve, right? You know, we call it the peak or the apex. I think New York's already, I mean, supposedly, we're supposed to go through it this week and by the end of next week. I think we've already been past that. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, decline Jr. Some annoying. Uh, the 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 hostage and then Hollow take back the good life. Official guys around collapsing and spread. Uh, uh, still dire. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, so they're still in the standard fear mongering. Uh, blah blah blah. With this mind, Thursday Joe, we closely watch with blah 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 blah. blah. All right. Um. Is there any coronavirus case counts? All right. Yeah, this article is, uh, didn't mention that uh, Mario Cuomo said we were reducing. Oh, we're just going to go to his fucking Twitter then. Uh, NY Gov Twitter. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, so JFC coin is oh, I love, oh wow, uh, it's actually at seven. It's actually dead even at seven to eight. Uh, it's just missing right now. Okay, that's good. I like that. Four hundred four coins at six to seven. Uh, so pretty good. It looks like it's gonna be poised to go for. I think my order did get fulfilled. I'm not sure. Uh, cause I know I'm somewhere in uh near the, the front of this pack somewhere. I've got to be close to the pack. So I'll say six to seven. Uh, <clears throat> two by two coins at 58 to 61, so not too bad. Still also quite stable, so I like that a lot. Kapo coins at 75.22 to 85.00, so, uh, you know, again, very stable. I'm actually talking with Mitch. Uh, I mean, he's still kind of just in hiding over in Germany because, again, you know, Germany's got their own problems with coronavirus, so. But I sent them a message that I'm th actually thinking about Increasing the APR and JMC coin, uh, one twenty-five percent to two fifty percent or two hundred percent, just like Compound Coin. Uh, we'll have a we'll have another brief amount of um, hyperinflation is the only thing, but that's a short-term problem, and eventually it'll become bottomed out like Compound Coin is. So I'm trying to figure out what's a better uh, what a better APR is, because right now we're just not minting enough <laughs> coins, and it's just kind of sitting there. I'm just going to close that because we don't care about that for now. Um, <clears throat> crypto link between Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, X Goldman Sachs X shifts before a Bitcoin warrants worse insolvency event in history is coming. Uh, that so I mean I know he's yeah he's Goldman Sachs but I already know it's just stupid. Um, first of all, our money's not backed anything. All right, so this literally is. God, I'll, I'll read the fucking article. Uh, Yahoo's top crypto bets are crushing the S&P 500 mid global. Um, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I mean, crypto is great. So Trump's going up, but so is Joe Biden. Like, really? Uh, all right. Well, oh, yeah, people have been saying, oh, you know, you lost Joe Biden. I mean, you lost Joe Rogan, right? So because now he's going to vote for Trump, blah, blah, blah. Uh no, you underestimate the power of tribalism, racism, and people just being fucking low IQ retards. Which is why I actually now support... Well, first of all, if we had an IQ test for voting, I would definitely pass it. And even if I didn't pass it, then that means people who are even smarter than me, who are definitely going to be clinically considered Mensa geniuses, would be able to vote. Now, the problem is, that's still a problem, because what if you're really smart, but you have no empathy? Then you'll just become... A very highly efficient mass murder and that and that's no good so you know what are you gonna do uh all right so i think we could probably just i mean there's 27 minutes left but we can make a good conclusion from this so basically so this used to be 20 80 percent in favor uh i mean 80 percent in favor of reopening america now this thing is jumping to 34 35 percent close it or uh increase it more and then of course you got 65 percent saying yeah you know we need to reopen america one way or another and again it's just the boomers getting uh i actually noticed that for the first time i actually got people who don't normally follow me at all actually engage in the thing here so uh let's see hashtag clicks Actually, yeah, you don't have to worry about the hashtag clicks. What matters is that it shows up in the hashtag. That, that's why I have hashtag coronavirus. You don't need the word hashtag, but I do it just to make sure that Twitter knows to whatever. So, all right. Very good. Very good. This was, this was my most popular poll yet for my shitty little thing. So, um, let me actually refresh this one more time. 244. 
Uh, undo retweet, retweet. Yeah, <clears throat> very good, very good. Yeah, but basically, people are eager to get back to work, so you know, hopefully, we'll be able to, uh, you know, get something done here. Um, yeah, so again, it's affecting fat people or old people, so that's why they're getting scared, right? But we're not going to let uh, the boomers hold us hostage, right? So we're just going to reopen America, even partially, and then at-risk people, uh, including myself, would just have to be more careful. Uh, we should definitely still continue uh, social distancing, though. And, of course, in New York City, you know, uh, I'm not sure we can reopen. I think we could probably do, like, a 10 to 25% reopen. They just leave, that, leave it like that for, like, the next few weeks. Um, you know, just so just so you could start easing the strain on the the economic strain on people, and people also committed suicide because uh, there's also uh, a poll that said that the national suicide hotline went from a thousand people a day to like twenty five thousand. I'm hoping, yeah, here we go. In Indiana alone, their suicide hotline increased two thousand percent from a thousand to twenty five thousand. All right. Uh, real. Uh, okay. So that'll piss off the boomers. All right, but we do need to do that. It's like, you know, well, I'd rather live even though I, you know, ninety years old. You know, who cares if tens of hundreds, of thousands of people die from suicide? Not my problem. It's like everyone's responsible for themselves, and then they wonder why everybody hates them so much. So yeah, like this. This is the state of Indiana alone, all right? What about the other 50, 49 fucking states, all right? And the whole world out there, too. So it's a real problem. It's a very big problem. All right. 21,000 jobs could be lost in downturn. Universities estimate 20... Oh, good. Well, I don't know. It depends. Like, uh, Is it faculty or is it like the, the, the grunts, right? The grunts need the jobs. It's, a, it's the faculty at universities that need to... Uh, uh those people need to lose their jobs will coronavirus collapse the australian property market but uh, i don't even go oh that's right because i have my i have my uh i because uh, google thinks i'm in australia <clears throat> don't care about tennis don't be in championship camp because of coronavirus uh Carousel updates uh hospitals are running low on supplies um Oh, they dropped me so I so, see. Yeah, we, 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 we. Uh, social media critical. I don't know how this guy is, but maybe he's technically correct. Uh, you know, we do need to work together. Uh, we got a tiger that tested positive for coronavirus, which is hilarious. He recovered from coronavirus and now has plasma donation. And now his plasma can say he was diagnosed with coronavirus. Coronavirus donation is probably help others fight the potentially dead. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Woody Heller, I'm sorry, sharing coronavirus conspiracy theories tied to 5G. Yeah, Woody Heller said actually surprisingly is kind of a, um, uh, kind of like a right wing ish type of guy. Who director faces calls for resignation over his handling of coronavirus in China? Yes, this is 100% correct. Because not only did he shill for the CCP, the Communist Chinese Party, and basically infected all of us with his fake news terrorism, right? Like, ah, just nothing's bad. And then the other thing is, while I appreciate they said, you know, don't be racist against Asians, the problem was he took that too far. Uh, and now we, we, we all are infected. And then now people know that, and now they're starting to get angry and blaming China and Chinese people for this shit, right? I mean, for, most people are still good at just blaming China and not the people. But it's already starting to metastasize eventually into yeah it's you know all chinese people are a problem right and usually what i do is i look at the replies in nick fuentes's timeline and just see how many people are spamming you know yeah we gotta get rid of the chinese people uh and, and then that's when we start worrying uh he should yeah i don't want to retweet this you know i don't want i don't want to spam my twitter uh because i want to make sure i push this shit so all right so nonetheless very good also i think i accidentally xed out uh Google thing here. Uh, yes. Right. Is that right? Does that work? Yeah. All right. Let's turn my proxy back on. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, this is from yesterday, so we could close that. All right. So, what is this guy saying? Um, 
to Massive World of Hurt. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, of course it's the fucking... Of course this is... This is why I'm starting to increasingly hate the Daily Holdo. It's a massively deceptive headline. Uh, 20% plunge in equities in short term before a three or four month bounce. But in the long run, Palak stocks may may kind of go belly up as the novel coronavirus cripples multiple sectors of the economy. Well, I'm hoping a lot of the jobs that do get lost are like in shit lib industries. So, you know, because everyone's going to be taking a hit. But the people who take the biggest hit really should be uh, the shit libs and the big corporations ish. But of course, the problem is conservatives already have very little to begin with. So they're already getting hit kind of hard. But hopefully they're smart enough to just get the SBA loans, even though it's only limited in quantity to like $350 billion total. Apparently that money's already dried up pretty quick. So, yeah. I mean, they, I mean, Trump will probably be smart enough to just do another round of stimulus, right? So just, just make that money printer go brrr, right? Uh, blah, 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 yeah. So I'm not really interested in what this asshole has to say. Yeah, it's just short-term shit, so of course. All right, so we'll end it on... Um, uh, it will be over soon. I can't. Here's what I can promise. You know, f facts based on science. Yeah, the New Yorkers. I mean, that is actually the correct move. Uh, but with that being said, I still do believe he's kind of overreacting a little bit. But I mean, on the other hand, his brother has coronavirus. Assuming you, you assuming you assume that Chris, Chris Cuomo uh, is telling the truth. Uh, and then number two, yeah, we do have a density problem, especially in New York City. All right, New York City. Two people with coronavirus, right? The Iranian nurse that came back from Iran had it, right? And then she immediately self-isolated because she was a nurse. So she's new to, you know, because uh, she knew she was coming from back from Iran where, like, you know, there was a problem with coronavirus. So she's like, oh, I could be infected. I better start self-isolating. And then there was that uh, Westchester Jewish lawyer. I don't know where he got it from, right? But he just got it somehow. And there's also two people alone already infected like shit tons of people right it's just crazy infectious <clears throat> uh giving coronavirus nba is sure one million s3 okay uh okay so it may not actually be here um let's see yeah i hope so i don't show one that will arrive at jfk today okay all right, there we go. See, this is the problem, right? Why we're still getting stuff from China, right? We should be making this shit ourselves. It's you know, see, this is another thing I get irritated about. Everybody, a lot of people want to blame China, but why aren't those same people calling for the globalists, the corporations, corporations, and politicians that advocated for building up China, right? That's how I know it's a big, you know, what globalist scam, and it's kind of pissing me off. Also, I'm starting to get a little annoyed with Mike Cernovich because he's doing the same shit, too. Um, I don't know why he doesn't show up here. Because he's definitely not shadow banned, at least not anymore. All right? You know, this thing is still getting a lot. Well, now what's interesting is people don't want to reply too much. All right? You know, and of course, Mike is never going to criticize, you know, the, uh, the country that cannot be named or criticized. So uh that's why there's gonna be like when this is all over there's gonna be a, a a very hardcore rift between uh the fake right uh mike sarovich is his own faction i would say right though he leans more towards you know what i call the fake right and the actual true right you know your gripers your nick fuentes types people but uh the problem is everyone's starting to get really mad at china right and they're and funny enough the, the biggest racist i know is the only who, who's banned on the internet who, who runs the most banned internet website the most banned website on the internet is the only one that's saying yeah this is all a globalist scam to get everybody primed to start a war with china so that's actually what i'm very concerned about uh you might think well that's ridiculous yeah it is ridiculous you think that stops them <laughs> All right. The war in the Middle East was also ridiculous, but the problem was, you know, 9-11 was very traumatic and we had to retaliate. So and also we didn't have social media back then. So it was a lot easier to spread fake news terrorism. Nowadays, it'll be a lot harder. Right. You know, because they try to invade uh, Syria, Iran and Venezuela. That's why they were wrapping up all that, you know, anti whatever propaganda. Right. And, you know, luckily uh, we, uh, you know, because we have Trump as president, we stopped that. Right. But. 
<coughs> yeah, Corona. Yeah, now I'm definitely starting to come down with something because I didn't get enough fucking sleep. Uh, how irritating. Well, uh, well, I can't. Well, I can't wipe my mouth with this anymore. Just have to use this. So uh, very annoying. Very annoying. Hmm. Mm. Ah, well, there goes my bit heroes. So, all right, let's see. So it might have been Mayor de Blasio too, because uh, someone said, let's see, Mayor NYC. Uh, so the good news is, oh, come on, you know what I'm looking for. Oh, God, the, the search on here is so shitty. When will you actually, you know, we got the answer more. When will you actually get a stimulus check? Can you report a non-essential business? All right, I'm not sitting here for four minutes. I don't want to, I, I, I already cannot stand this fucking guy. City's response, at least they're practicing social distancing here too, which is hilarious. We're expanding free meals to every New Yorker over, over, over three free meals Monday through Friday. Kids pick up, adults pick up on their aid, text. Oh shit. Here we go. Free food. Oh, all right, that's it. I'm not buying any more food. I'm going to go get free food. Free food. Oh shit. Yes. I've been waiting for this day. Day for um, decades. Yeah. Free food. All right. One eleven thirty a.m. to one. Oh shoot. So I know there's a school near me. So I gotta make sure I go get my free food. Um, three meals at one time. Uh. Okay. Time to get free food, folks. All right. I'm gonna get some free food. It's probably gonna be bad for me, but you know what? I'm gonna save money by doing this. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, because I was wondering why, um, are they, because, like, they get a lot of food, and they throw a lot of it away, so you might as well just give it away for free. Because they used to do that, and then they stopped. Because one time I tried doing that, and then the security at the elementary school said, no, uh, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> it's like, oh, damn. <laughs> Probably because they're worried about pedo bears and stuff, too, so, and there's that, too. Uh... Okay, so this is where I got to think. This is why I, uh, this is why I hate monopolies. I have no choice but to use fucking retarded Twitter. Um, okay. Should you cover your mouth and go out? Yes. You don't need to use a surgical mask or N95 mask, but you should use a scarf or bandana. Yeah, I tried using my scarf. It was just too annoying and hard to breathe, so I just have my actual fucking thing that i bought from the grocery store who yeah. happens to be uh chinese as well so you know t 10 masks 10 of these masks for 10 bucks i'm just gonna reuse them right because every time i go out and use them you know i just come home and clean it with like my, my antibacterial stuff <clears throat> uh can i leave the military on their basis bring them all in front now peacetime approach uh if any partner has like a request, I'm to share. I'm often anyway to ensure these items are turned over and brought over to when. Oh yeah, so we're 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 going full martial law mode. We don't to call New York City. Um, oh my god! All right, I probably skipped it, but he's basically the number of new cases in New York City has dropped. Uh, we're losing so many New Yorkers. Yes, I'm sure. We need ventilators. Uh. Okay, for us, we're not sending us. Uh, uh, okay, so let's do that. Okay, do that. <clears throat> okay, all right, whatever. All right, good enough. Uh, oh, we probably need some sort of. All right, you know what? We're just gonna use. We're gonna use this as a thumbnail. So I don't even know what I'm gonna title it, but. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so that we can continue growing this channel. And eventually the game's coming along pretty nice. Actually, I don't even remember, I don't even mention it too much, but yeah. 
I got the inventory uh, working, at least the UI part. Now we're going to start, and today I'll be working on the code for it. That's like a twelve, a little, like 11 and a half minute video on Brackies. So hopefully it won't be, I won't be running into too many problems, right? Because there's not much to manipulate, you know. I'm not trying to convert his 3D stuff to 2D, at least not yet. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, enjoy today's market gains. Uh, again, I continue to do nothing. It would have been nice to buy Remmel at like Friday at $1.50 or $1.20 or whatever the hell it was. But I mean, it was a big risk. It looked pretty bad. And quite frankly, I was like, I'm just so exhausted. Can we just fucking go back to normal? So that's kind of like where I'm at. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, things are looking pretty good, but we're not out of it yet. We, we, if this week... The number of new cases, because the deaths are going to continue, right? But if the new cases and ideally the number of deaths from coronavirus start declining day by day, then, you know, uh, you can more or less should be reassured that things should be getting better. We're still probably going to keep New York City closed, however, um, but uh, there will be more calls for Cuomo, uh, our governor, to reopen New York City even partially, so like 25%. And of course, you know, they're giving out free food now. So I, I, I gotta go look up the local school that's near me and just go get free food. <clears throat> so yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you live in New York City, go get your free food if it's safe to do so, because I fucking sure as hell will. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, James C. Coin, 404 Coin. Uh, Again, I am not buying. I'm just waiting for things to recover because I already did my buying already. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm fat. I'm fat in terms of money now. I just want things to go back up. Cryptocurrency is going back up. Everything's going back to normal. Uh, cases are starting to decline. You know, we're right on top of this coronavirus shit, so we'll get through it. And, um, you know, uh, we'll, what will happen this week? Personally, I don't really care. I just... If it goes up a lot, then down a lot, and just maintains like its current Dow levels around twenty to twenty-two thousand, that's good enough for me. You know, I just don't want this thing to keep crashing because that's when I start getting worried. But I think we've been through the worst of it already, so now it's just a matter of you know flattening the curve. And on top of that, people are starting to get. Uh, oh, I didn't mention this too. People actually trended fire Dr. Fauci. It's actually fire Fauci. Yeah, it's because people are getting fucking pissed about this shutdown. Right, you know, it's like, well, we need to save lives, so we'll save five thousand from the disease. Okay, then two hundred thousand people die from suicide because of the shutdown. Does that make sense? Right, you know, there there are trade offs. So, yeah. So, at some point, you know, uh, these two competing things will burst open, and the people who will win. I'm already telling you who's going to win. It's the people who want to reopen America. Notice that I want to do that because. Um, yeah, and I, and I live in New York City, so I know how it is. It's not that bad, right? Just, te I mean, even 10% would probably be good enough, right? Just do it slowly. You don't have to go crazy, right? Just slowly ramp up and see what happens. If things continue to get better, right, then slowly ramp up. If things immediately start getting worse, but it's not that worse because you only opened up 10% of New York, well, then, yeah, you can go back to whatever or maintain 10%, right? You know, so. All right, here's our thumbnail. See you tomorrow.